themselves. And we are underway in Buffalo. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Into the air right away is Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight-ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Flushed out right. And he fends him off. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Here's a second and eight. Now Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the deep. And Cook will get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. 
Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Allen now on first down. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get this down to the 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A give to Cook out of the gun. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Hallett. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Let's give credit to the defense. They got plenty of bodies to the point of attack and stuffed the run. But I just wonder if the offensive line let down a little bit, knowing that the big guy was getting the ball, and they just expected him to pick up a first. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. On first down, Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now Allen again. It's complete to Diggs. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. From the gun, it's Allen. Pass incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. 56, 56. On second down, Cook. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. 
Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Allen now looks to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Allen to throw once more. The left side caught by Diggs. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll come up now third and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 23. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Touchdown! Dawson Knox. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Back to throw. Allen. And Diggs has it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Looking to throw. Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Allen now on first and ten. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. And again, it's Allen. It's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. Second down and six now. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 34. Back to throw. Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Now he's got it. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that <laughs> one or what? <laughs> they would gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. 
That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Allen. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. One final try here for Allen. Touchdown, Bills. Latavius Murray from a yard out. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Bass on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Here's Cook again. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll try the middle with Cook. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And now they'll throw with Allen. That's caught by Davis. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Back to the ground, Cook. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Third and five. They'll run again. 
And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. This is first and ten. Here's Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Throwing Allen. He gets this complete to Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, they need to score, and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and 10. And meanwhile, Allen so complete to Shakir. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Allen. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. To throw is Allen. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. So it's a win here for the Bills. And this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, the numbers don't jump off the page, but he was a steady influence back there. He had a couple of touchdown passes on the afternoon. His guys rallied around him, and they're going to come away victorious. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.